This channel is just four months old and it's already gained over 3 million subscribers with only 149 videos uploaded. Every single video has millions of views. And guess what? The channel has already crossed 1 billion total views. Honestly, that means it's probably made anywhere between $100,000 to $400,000 already. And here's why. It's a Roblox channel, one of the most popular gaming niches, and the videos are in English, which means most of the audience comes from top tier countries like the USA and UK. Now look at this other channel, probably the biggest in this niche, with almost 6 million subscribers. Each one hits millions of views, and some even cross 128 million and 100 million views. Like this latest upload on October 29th, 2025 already has 39 million views. And the one from October 24 has crossed 32 million views. It's insane. You'll be shocked to know that this single channel has already gained over 3 billion views in total. Just imagine how much money it must have made by now. It's absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, this niche has massive potential. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create viral shorts like these completely free. Let's dive in. First, take a look at the top performing videos from these successful channels so we can figure out what kind of content is actually going viral. So as you can see, this video right here has 128 million views, making it the most viewed video on the channel. And if you notice, one major reason for its virality could be this girl reacting in the corner of the video. The next one has 44 million views, and again, a girl is reacting. The next one, 98 million views. Then you've got videos with 63 million, 30 million, 20 million, 24 million. And if you look closely, almost every viral video features a girl giving reactions on screen. But here's the crazy part. That girl isn't even real. She's an AI-generated streamer. Now, these videos are actually very simple. There's Roblox gameplay running in the background, some music and sound effects, auto captions, and on the side, an AI girl reacting to what's happening in the game. That's literally it. So here's the deal. If you already play Roblox, that's perfect. You can record your own gameplay easily. But if you don't play and still want to get into this niche, no worries. Just go to YouTube and search for Roblox gameplay. As you scroll, you'll find tons of videos you can use. Just make sure the video doesn't already have captions on it. For example, this one looks really good. And here's another one that could work great too. Simply copy the share link, then download the video using any free YouTube downloader. That's it, simple and fast. After that, we'll need an AI girl who'll appear in the video and give those on-screen reactions, just like the ones you saw earlier. For that, we'll be using ChatGPT and VO3 together. So first, let's head over to ChatGPT. I type in this well-optimized prompt. Then, I simply paste a few of the top performing video titles from YouTube and hit enter. And just like that, ChatGPT gives me a full list of 50 viral video titles, all written in that same Roblox plus AI reaction style. Each one is packed with humor, curiosity, and emotion. Perfect for viral short. Now the key here is to study those titles carefully and try to understand the pattern and tone. Then use that style to create your own videos. Here's a pro tip. Prepare at least 100 video topics in advance so you can stay consistent and post every day without any breaks. Consistency is everything in this niche. Now comes the fun part, generating the AI streamer girl video. To do that, just open any existing viral video that already features an AI girl. Take a clear screenshot of the character. Make sure her face and setup are visible. Next, go back to ChatGPT, upload that screenshot, and type this. I've attached a photo. Describe this AI streamer character in detail for VO3 flow video generation. Focus on her look, outfit, lighting, and setup. Then hit enter. And boom, ChatGPT will generate a detailed video generation prompt for you, perfectly optimized for VO3 flow. Before we jump into VO3 and actually start generating the video, quick shout out to Team Drop, the sponsor of today's video. And honestly, one of the smartest AI dropshipping tools I've come across. Over 1 million people already use Team Drop. They do more than $100 million in sales every year and have a 12,000 square meter fulfillment center. Team Drop literally automates the boring stuff. It finds winning products for you, connects directly to your Shopify or Etsy store, and syncs everything automatically. Product, orders, tracking, all of it. You can import any product with just one click and even customize the titles, descriptions, pricing, and images to make your store look clean and professional. Once the orders start rolling in, Team Drop takes care of everything. Fast shipping, quality checks, damage-proof packaging, and it even updates tracking numbers in real time. So if you've been thinking about starting a side hustle or building a store that basically runs itself, check out Team Drop. 
It's totally free to start and I've dropped the link in the description. All right, now let's get back and see how we can use VO3 to create our AI streamer reaction video. Once you've got that prompt, the next step is to go to Google Flow, also known as VO3 Flow's main site, and sign up with your email. It's super simple. Just log in and you're ready to start generating your own AI streamer videos. Then you'll see a dashboard just like this. All you have to do is paste your prompt into the box. Now, remember, this is just a basic prompt. It doesn't tell VO3 how the AI girl should react, like whether she should look shocked, laugh, or smile. That's where ChatGPT comes in. You can ask ChatGPT to generate reaction style prompts such as shocked plus laughing reaction, scared reaction, victory reaction, or anything else you want. All right, let's test one. I'll try a chill reaction prompt. I just copied it and pasted it into Google Flow, then hit enter. Okay, so now it's generating two videos, but actually we don't need two. That just wastes credits. So go to the filter or output settings and set the number of videos to one. That way you save your credits. Perfect, the video is now generated. Let's play it. Yeah, that was smooth. All right, no doubt the video looks pretty realistic, but the voice style doesn't match the reaction. The energy is missing. It feels too calm. So let's try another one. This time I'll use an epic moment reaction prompt. Copy, paste, and hit enter. Okay, let's play this one. No way. <gasps> that was insane. Did you guys see that? And wow, this looks so much better. The expressions feel natural. The energy matches the vibe. This is exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna download this one. Perfect. Now your 80% of the work is done. Next, you just need to do some simple editing. You can use CapCut, it's free and super easy. Or if you prefer professional editing, you can use Premiere Pro, that's what I use. So create a new project and make sure the aspect ratio is vertical since we're creating a short form video. Then import both your gameplay clip and your reaction video into the timeline. Watch the entire gameplay once carefully. Cut out all the boring parts and keep only the funniest, shocking, or exciting moments. Delete the rest. Now, drag the gameplay video to the bottom of the screen and place the reaction video on top so it looks like a streamer overlay. Don't overuse the reaction clip. Only show it when something interesting happens in the gameplay, like a funny glitch, a crazy win, or a surprise moment. For Roblox, most sound effects are already built into the game, so you usually don't need to add extra ones. Also, no need to add background music here. You can use Instagram or YouTube Shorts built-in sound options when uploading. Finally, one very important thing, always add captions. Captions keep viewers hooked and make people watch till the end, even if they have the sound off. In CapCut, you can use the auto caption feature for free. Just one click and it'll generate all subtitles. If you're using Premiere Pro, it also has auto captions, but you'll need the paid version for that. So just use whichever works for you. And that's it, your video is ready. Insane! Did you guys see that? It's super easy. By the way, if you want all the reaction prompts I used in this video, I'll share a Google Doc link in the description below. You can directly copy and use them for your own videos.